Hello, today I will be doing a video on the Dan Mini A5 biometric fingerprint scanner. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Um, showing you how I get the data from the fingerprint scanner and getting it onto my computer and how I manipulate it. Because basically there are two ways of getting, of downloading the data from the system. You get you can either have attendance reports or G-log data, which is just a CSV file, essentially. Um, first of all, I'll show you the attendance reports. Now, the way we use the fingerprint scanner here does not work with the system that they've given. It's absolutely terrible. So down here, it shows all the names and then all of this. Now I've got staff that have been signing in and signing out and it doesn't come up any, anything there. Abnormal, <laughs> abnormal reports, it doesn't come up anything here. Logs, it comes up with names, no information. Daily attendance, uh, everybody's on holiday, it looks. So for me personally, the attendance reports that you download from the Dan Mini A5 biometric fingerprint scanner are rubbish. So we'll get rid of that. What I do find useful is the G-Log data. Now, annoyingly, it does come in this CSV text file, which, you know, is not the nicest of thing to use or whatever. But it is useful if you put it into a spreadsheet and you know and manipulate the data yourself. So what I'm going to show be showing you today is how how to create a spreadsheet that can actually do something with this information. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you now is exactly how I get the data from this uh, CSV file, put it in here split it up, manipulate it, and get something we can actually work with. All right, so for example, say if we wanted to work with a particular week, what we'll do is get all of the dates are down here. So we'll start with the 14th. We'll need to highlight from here, uh, from the far left, and go all the way down to Let's go to the end of the 17th. So if you can see here, this is the last date in the 17th. It goes to the 18th here. So we want all the information up until the 17th. I'll press Control and C. Minimize this. And you want to put the data quite far onto this side. I've not actually worked out how far yet, but we'll, we'll do it as we go. Control and V. Now, Google Sheets is pretty good because it will split all of those rows automatically for you. The only problem is, is that every single row is its own cell, which, which is not good because it doesn't let me manipulate the data to how I want to do it. So what we'll do, we'll go over to cell A1. This lets you see now why we've left all this space. If we go equals, split, bracket, J2, comma. So J2 is the cell, obviously, with the data in it that you want to split, the comma, and then we have to put in what we want to split. So whenever there's a space, we want it to split it and put the next item in a new cell. So space, 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 new cell, space, new cell, space, new cell. So on, close brackets. And there we go, we've got all of those from there now been individually split up into different cells. Now I do not want this information, I don't know what it is, I don't care. So we will, we won't delete them, but we will hide those columns. So I'll show you how to do that again here, because this is also information that I just don't want 
if we select cells E, sorry, columns E and F, right click on them, scroll down, hide columns E and F. Now all we're left with here is an ID, a name, date, time. I'm going to delete this column here because I actually want uh, the log data to be next to everything else. You can do what you like, but that's, uh, that works out best for me. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of simple formatting now because I, I don't like it looking so boring. Okay, we're going to keep the ID data here, although you can hide it if you want to. Uh, the reason I'm going to keep it is because it's where the split formula is. So when I, when we want to split all the rest of the data as well, it's good to keep it here. In fact, so I'll do that now. Scroll it down for, I mean, you can do it as, as long as you want, to be perfectly honest. I suppose it depends on... Uh, on how many staff you've got and how how often you use this so I'll, I'll go down to 400 for now let's give it a color not that color there we go there we go it's all split Okay, so continuing with, continuing with the uh, formatting as well, I'd also like to color in this log data section. Now, I'm going to color this one in red so we don't get confused. But we'll also go, go down to the 400 mark with uh, these. Oops. what this is doing now, it, we're basically creating a, a template that we can use again and again and again, depending on when we actually want to do it. Okay. So now we have have all of this set up. What I'm gonna, what I will do though, is delete this just to show, show you that we can use it again. So now we have actually created this you'll notice that if there's no data in here, this says value. So what I'll do is tidy it up to make it look nicer, you know, just in case you wanna show your friends. So we'll have equals if, is blank, I2. So basically what that's saying is if I2 has nothing in it, then what we want to do is show in cell A1 nothing. So if I2 is blank, then we also want A2 to be blank. If it's not blank, then what we want to do is split I2 every time there's a space. So basically just do exactly what we did before, but only if there's something inside it. So if I press enter now, cell A A2 is now blank. So I will copy that formula all the way down to the bottom. There we go. So we haven't got that ugly, ugly value there anymore which is nice all right you'll notice that i've uh highlighted that one a slightly different color as well reason being is that you know when we have when we do copy this data there we go copied a big whack of it there once you've copied it this is the cell that you'll want to click it in this is where the magic happens click that click cell i2 press press control and v and then everything is there ready for you to work with. Uh, last but not least, 
although we've got them in nice separate cells, we can't actually organize it. So I would click on cell A1, click and hold, highlight all the way over to I1, click on data at the top, and then scroll, go down to filter. And now we have manipulatable data. Is that a real word? Manipulatable? We can manipulate the data. Um, I like to do everything in name order. If you click on name first, then the uh, the dates roll in line and also the times. So I can see that Becky worked on the fifth, started work on the 15th at 11.57 a.m. And she finished on the 15th at 5.35, came back in on the 16th and so on. So that is a great way. But also, if I if I actually don't want to see all of the staff members, maybe I only want to see myself and what I've done, I can do that. Um, so we would we'll go back to the beginning where everybody selected. I would press filter on filter by values, clear, and then just select a specific name that I want. If I only want to catch one person out press OK and then it goes then it only has that person there all of the dates the times right well I'm pretty sure that covers everything I need to show you in this video um, if you have any questions at all by all means leave it leave it in the comments and I will get back to you as quickly as possible um, and I really do hope this helps because I find this a lot better than the uh, than the standard spreadsheet that they give you when you first buy the Dan Mini A5.